<coughs> okay, let's take a walk around this um, 55 plate. I think it's a late uh, 2005 um, Mitsubishi Shogun Pinin, two litre GDI five door Warrior Special Edition. Um, finished in nice uh, metallic dark grey. This has just come in part exchange to us against the Land Rover. Um, that seems quite a nice, uh, nice car actually. Uh, warranted 67,000 miles. Walking around it spec-wise, it's got uh, front um, front driving lights or possibly fog lights. I don't know, but auxiliary front lights certainly. Roof rails, 18-inch um, alloys with a matching set of uh, um, Continental 4x4 Contact 23550 R18 tyres on. Um, it's got side steps, mud flaps, tow bar with electrics tailgate mounted spare wheel, rear spoiler uh, and it's also got full black leather uh, stitched in white. Um, so quite a nice uh, nice little car all round really. Um, I've just put it through a car wash, unfortunately I've um, broken my neck and uh, it means I can't um, polish cars or do anything with them, I can't bend down too far so uh, you'll have to bear with me on it. But it means we can't give it a proper valet I'm afraid because normally I do all that. Um, but it's actually quite clean anyway from that respect. But um, anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Looks, uh, looks pretty clean all round, in, um, in nice shape. Um, around the front end, all the bonnet looks pretty good. There's a very slight stone dink just there in the front edge of the bonnet. Um, but otherwise, it all looks pretty good there. Light units look in good shape. Uh, another slight dink just there underneath the offside light unit hasn't broken the paint. <coughs> um, front bumper all looks pretty good. There's a very slight scuff just there on the top of the um, near side front bumper edge and a slight parking scuff just along here. Slightly scuffed, you may be able to see it on the video just there. Um, looking down the near side, it all looks pretty straight down there and dent free. Um, near side arch, that all looks okay, that's just a couple of marks, probably if it was polished would come out. Uh, screen looks good, roof looks fine but I can see a very slight stone dink just in front of the, uh, just at the very top of the roof, just on the offside there which we'll look at in a minute. Um, very slight chip on the mirror housing there. The uh, near side front door looks good. Interior wise, it's all pretty clean, just uh, sort of slightly grubby mats, but so unfortunately I can't even wield a vacuum cleaner at the minute. So. Um, but the interior otherwise, all the headlining looks good. Seats all look to be in very good shape. Um, dash is nice, smells nice in there as well. It's all uh, really quite nice and clean. And near side door is all good there. Near side rear door, there's a slight scratch about so long on the uh, um, near side rear door just there, but otherwise not bad at all. Inside here, all good. So it's, that's a little clean on the seats, might be in order, but otherwise looks pretty smart. Um, wheels all look to be in good shape, not curved or anything. Um, near side rear wing all looks nice. Very, very slight scuff just there on the near side rear corner, bumper corner. Other than that, the rear bumper looks to be okay, apart from, again, a very slight scuff just above the uh, um, the towing eye cover, just there. In the back here, it's got the, uh, the load cover, and that all looks nice in there. Um, um, looking down the offside, it looks pretty clean and straight and correct down there, nothing wrong with that. All looks good. Offside rear wing, all looks nice. Offside rear door is okay. All looks good in there. I'd say quite nice black leather that, with extra airbags in the seats and things. Um, offside front door looks nice. Very slight bit of paint loss just on the very edge of the door, just there, just where it's been obviously scuffed against the garage or something, garage door or something. Uh, garage wall. I know the previous owners that we took it in from have garaged it. Uh, inside here on the driver's side, that's all nice. 
Um, driver's seat is all in very good shape, not really not scuffed or damaged or anything, all very good. Um, dash is all nice, all looks smart in there. Um, offside mirror good, yeah, little stone dink just up here which has broken the paint a bit, it looks like it might have been touched in just slightly above the windscreen just up there. Um, a couple of light scuffs on the A-post pillar here, which uh, may have had a replacement screen or something, I guess, at some point. Um, offside front wing is all good. Uh, just very, 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 very faint scuffing just on the back of the uh, um, the offside uh, uh, arch extension there. Uh, but that's about it. It's, it's, it's a nice little, uh, nice little pin in this one. In, the nice, in a really, really nice colour. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. Um, and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world. Obviously, we can normally deliver because I normally drive them, but I can't. Uh, can't really drive any distance at the moment, so I'll have to forego that. I think if you want it, you'll have to come and get it, or we can get a transporter to deliver it if it's uh, paid in advance and the car's fully paid for. Um, that's about it. End.